Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hub and I'm Penge and welcome to News Tower, a newspaper tycoon game set back in the 1930s where we try to print the very best newspaper in the whole of New York City. We hire journalists, we look for the best stories, we buy and run all the printing presses, we do the lot, we do what we need to do to get our newspaper out there, all for the sake of news. Hurrah for entirely accurate and definitely not biased news, it's going to be wonderful. Now if this does look a little bit familiar, we have played it before, back in October 2021. It doesn't seem that long ago. It really doesn't. But there we go. It's been a while, News Tower. But now we are back with a very fancy preview bill, thanks to the devs. That's very kind of you. And the big story of the day is that News Tower is going into early access on the 13th of February. So in a couple of weeks as this video goes out. As always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description. So you can go and check the game out a little bit more and put it on your wish list if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Let's pop back to the 1930s and dig out the latest scoops. Okie doke, here we go, and we begin with a little postcard to read through. It's been years, but I can still smell the air. It was thick with aspirations as your father and I started our journey across the vast ocean. New York was the place to be at the turn of the century, and so that's where our dream took us. My sincere condolences for the loss of your father. I think it's time that I share the stories and photographs that formed our past. Okie dokie. So, ah, right, okay, a little stamp goes on the postcard. Right, so there's some people arriving in New York, by the look of it. Arrival on Ellis Island. We came with a purpose, a shared dream, to one day establish our own newspaper. You know, you aren't merely part of a family. You're rooted in a lineage of publishers. Ink runs through our veins. We were born to tell, and more importantly, sell our stories. Okie dokie. Right, another stamp goes on. I mean, I kind of feel like a letter might have been a slightly cheaper option for this. Just, you know, write a letter, put the pictures into an envelope, and then just post it off once rather than spending all this money on stamps. But okie doke, with our pockets alight as a feather, we had to start from the bottom. We built a ramshackle newsstand and sold others' newspapers. But paper by paper, we started to build our own story. We called our newspaper... Oh, and now we get to give it a name. Oh, I do like it when we get to name things. Okay, right, so big important job number one, what do we call our newspaper? Let's go with the Cupboard Chronicle. I think that sounds really quite good. I like that. I can imagine nipping over to a little newsstand type thing and picking up a copy of the Cupboard Chronicle and then having a read. I think that sounds really rather good. So, okay, we'll go with the Cupboard Chronicle. They've put it in that kind of, you know, the fancy newspaper name font type thing, which is all very good. So, okay, we shall call it the Cupboard Chronicle. Another stamp goes on, another three cents goes out. And there's a little pitch there. Don't quite know what that was of. A decade later, we were hitting scoop after scoop. Our ink-stained pen became a lethal weapon, taking down corrupt politicians left and right. If you were somebody back then, you were somebody because of us. Okay, so yes, indeed, in that particular period of time, the newspaper did have power. Okay, so publish a table desk in there. Yet life wrote some unforeseen chapters. Your father had to head back home, and I was left to lead our dream on my own. Nowadays, my stories don't seem to hit the same way. With the economic crash and debts mounting, the persistent deadline finally caught up to me. With no successor in sight, I turn to you. Okay, another stamp goes on. You're wasting your money. Welcome to New York City. It's a pressing matter. It's time to pass the torch. Our legacy cannot fall prey to these foreclosure wolves. It's a sacred trust to be kept within the family. I bought you a ticket to come to New York. Oh, thank you very much. A taxi will await you at the terminal and take you to our Brooklyn office. While my journey now leads elsewhere, my retired secretary, Eleanor, will be there to guide you. She will have you up and printing in no time. But brace yourself. For this city never sleeps. Best wishes, your uncle. Okay, right, so it was our uncle writing to us. It's often an uncle in tycoon games. They often leave us lovely things. Okay, thank you, uncle. Pop a final stamp on it. Okay, right. And here we are. It looks to me like we might be in New York. Look, there are many tall buildings over there. There we go. We're in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York City. And I didn't see the time and date, but I think it's early in the morning in the 1930s. Oh, look. We've got a sort of a fancy thing above the doorway. One of those things, that Art Deco, do they call it? And we're at 142. Right, hello, thank you, officer. We'll stay in touch. Oh, oh, it looks like maybe the place has been vandalised. It looks a bit broken. Okay, have a good day, ma'am. Thank you, officer. It's a fine walk you have, officer. Oh, hello there. You must be our new publisher. You seem taken aback, my dear. I mean, yeah, everything's in a bit of a state. Perhaps your uncle didn't disclose the full story. 
I apologise for this mess. Allow me to shed light on the situation. Okay, thank you, Eleanor. Please do. Everything looks... Yeah, very ruined. Our newspaper has been struggling tremendously with dwindling readerships and mounting debts, an unfavourable combination. Indeed, last night one of the debt collectors paid us an unwelcome visit. It appears that your uncle has unsavoury connections. Yes, indeed. Did they get a little bit kind of violent and bashy? To be frank, the recent financial crisis has pushed us to the brink of foreclosure. Your uncle saw no way out and sought external financing options. Unfortunately, his plans didn't unfold as anticipated, but his intentions were noble. Okay. Oh, is that our uncle? Oh, there we go. You're his final hope. And it all revolves around the man depicted in the painting right above us. Oh, that might be dad. Is that our dad? No, not that man. The one who was once our esteemed boss. Your late father. The great publisher, Antoine van Inde. May his soul rest in peace. Oh, there's dad. But no time to linger. We need a newspaper to be printed this Sunday. We've got to make every letter count and prevent this looming foreclosure. At your service, publisher, let's meet our remaining staff. Okay, yeah, so it looked like there were some staff over here. He's got to be a journalist because he's wearing a little trilby hat with a bit of paper in. That's what they do. Let me introduce to you our only remaining employees. Blazanov and Dennis say hi. Hi! Okay, you're Blazanov, I assume, because you were introduced first. And I imagine that's Dennis. So how are you doing? Blazanov is operating our telegraphing station. It's our line of communication to the world outside. Okay, so there's a telegraph going on. That's right, says Blazanov. At least Blazanov stood up. You over there didn't. As a matter of fact, I'm getting some hot news in right now. Ooh, okay, give me a minute. Oh, we've come at the right time. Sure, Blazanov. In the meantime, I've got something to show you. This is where you come in. Ah, right, okay. This is all sort of vaguely familiar, but okay. See the blue arrow? I do. It's right there. It's an arrow and it's blue. This shows your advancement in the week. Okie doke. Uh, our goal is to get a newspaper out every Sunday. Okay, so no time to waste. Already it's Thursday, crikeys. I'll give some tips on the way. Pay attention to the blue boxes. Okay, good luck. Thank you. I suspect we might need it. Ah, however, we're quite good at this. We can move around, look. We're very good at this. Hooray! And we can zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff. What a skyline, huh? Um, right, let's ask the very important question. Is Spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause, which is wonderful stuff. Well done, game. Right, let's go and have a little look around. Blazanov is saying bingo. So Blazanov is now playing bingo, but okay. So let's go and have a little look around. So there's our building. Not overly grand right now, but you know, that's okay. It's got a few rooms in it. Needs a little bit of TLC, but we'll get it sorted. We're next to the Whitehall Hotel. They've got a cafe there. Do you serve tea? Oh, and a barber's. Oh, that's, that's all right. Look, nip over here, get your hair cut, and then grab a little tea on the way back. Okay, that's quite good. And then over that side, can we look over there? Who have we got over here? The Brooklyn Trust Company. Okay, I don't know what they do. They sound like a financial services thing. And then a restaurant over there, like a fish restaurant. Okay, that's quite nice. And then in the background... I do like this. I remember being impressed by this when we played it last time. It just looks really good. I like that. I like that kind of art style. So there we go. There is the Empire State. That I... Oh, is time still paused? I think time's still paused. I hope it is. I pressed spacebar and everything seemed to stop. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, big important buildings. Very nice. There's New York over there. There's a boat. Um, however, let's go back over here. So what do we have going on? Let's send out your first reporter. Okay, so you found something. So let's move time on again, shall we? Right, so press that button there. This lamp here represents Mr. Blazanov's telegraphing desk. Okay, right. Uh, when the light's on, that means a line of communication is open, allowing you to send reporters over to report on the events. Okay, no, this is Mr. Blazanov found our new source. Okay, that's kind of where we are, isn't it? Click on it to dive in and begin reporting. Okay, Wall Street stock crash. Oh dear. This is what we call the news board. The core of each news item lies in its story files. Each news item has at least one. Okay, so that thing is linked to this over here. And that's, well, this whole thing is a news board. Here we're dealing with an economy story as indicated by this requirement. Okay, so that kind of particular symbol there is an economy story. Only reporters with an economy skill can be assigned here. Okay, so we're gonna have different reporters specializing in different things. Right, I'm with you so far. 
This report has a skill we need. Drag this card to the story file. Okay, so what are the other things? Society, economy, and crime. Okay, Dennis. Dennis, go and do some stuff over here. Total panic going around. As you can see, he started work on the item straight away. The story file would take about six hours to report on. Crikey, okay. It's taken a while then. Oh no, but time is flying by very quickly. An economy tag was gained from this report. It's all about the story tags, as you'll see later. Okay, we're ahead of the game here. We're putting hashtags into our stories. Okie doke. Right, so that's finished. Oh, I didn't see what they said over there. I'm sure they said something very important. Okay, hi again. Hi, could you repeat the last thing you said on that screen? Those mobsters really did a number on our equipment. Yeah, you're not joking. It's really broken. This used to be where our typesetter worked. An essential part in the newspaper production process. Oh, there's Dennis coming back. Uh, reporters would come back and deliver their reports here. Over there is where the typeset reports were assembled. Okay, getting them ready to print. Okay, I see. Unfortunately, both of them were destroyed. I mean, I wouldn't say entirely destroyed. Yeah, a bit, bit of duct tape, woo, would we'll be fine. And the good people working them got so scared that they left. Okay, anyway, I'm getting emotional. Oh, sorry. Let's clean this mess up and start over. Okay, dispose of these desks. Ah, right, that's broken. And that's broken. Okay, so build a typesetting desk. Can we pause time again? Can we pause time for a second? Oh, there's a, there's a wibbly thing happening. Wibbly thing happening up there. Build a typesetting desk. Assign somebody to it. Build an assembly table. Assign somebody to that. Right, hold hold fire there, globe. Um, We're going to go over here. Uh, drag this into your tower. Right, typesetting desk. I mean, do we just put them back where they were? Uh, let's put it there. I notice that there is a plant in this room already. I think we might have to go and put some more plants around because yeah, that's important. Okay, so that's now been done. So a typesetting desk is in and now we need to get ourselves an employee to go and do the typesetting. Okay, so who shall we get? Um, they seem good for the job. Drag the file onto there. So John Higgins or Brad Coleman. They both look exactly the same. Uh, all right, um, it's telling us to get John. So John, in you come. Welcome aboard. Right. Okay, so that's them sorted. And then we need an assembly table. Okay, so put that in over there and then do the same thing here. Oh, and it's Brad. Okay, Brad, you can come in over here. Are you both employed in the end? Yay, there we go. Right, so they're both in and now have to wait for the reporter to come back. However, that was flashing on and off, wasn't it? Um, taking too long. Fast forward time by holding down this button. Um, no, it's taking too long because I've paused time. Let me unpause time. I saw the reporter come back. There he is. There's Scoop McLean coming through there with his little hat on with the paper in. Right, so you come through. You've handed the story to the chappy there. Right, so you're now going to convert that report into a typeset slope. I'm a total rookie though, so excuse me if this takes a minute. It's fine. I don't know what I'm doing either, fella. It's okay. Right, so we're going to wait for them to... I assume... I don't know what they're doing exactly. Are they kind of creating what the newspaper... The sort of front page is going to look like? Are they sort of, you know, putting all the letters in place and kind of getting it all... Because yeah, obviously it's a printing press. I've so got to put the letters in. So I assume that's what they're doing. Uh, oh, monitor news items in production. Click here. Okay. Here you can see the tags that you'll collect when printing this item. Okay, so we've got the economy tag. This shows the progress of your item's production. Every stop represents a production desk in your tower. Once the bar is completely full, you can place the item in your newspaper. Okie doke. Click on this icon will direct you to the location the item is currently at. Ah, okay. So we click on that and it's going to go, yep, okay, we're spending an hour doing typesetting. And now it's ticking down, look. Okay, so that's now gone. He's going to come over here and pick up the the typesetting is that what it is and then you're going to do whatever this thing is you're going to assemble the thing okay typesetting and so okay you're i don't know are you sort of saying we wanted to look like that and then this this chappy here on the assembly table is now creating the front page or the little kind of yeah you, know, you have to put the individual letters down to you know when the ink goes on them to you know form the words and such so is that what you're doing I think that might be what you're doing. Okay, you do have to get a little bit of a wriggle on though. Because, um, yeah, it is, it's quite late in the day. And Sunday we need to get the newspaper out. And it's coming up to the end of Friday. 
and we haven't got much time. Um, okay, I was going to press the button, but now time is ticking down. Okay, no, it's finished. Hurrah. Okay, congrats. You've produced your first article. Okay, thank you so much. The final step is placing it in the printer. Okay, now there she is. Bertha is what we used to call her. Oh, Bertha, what a lovely machine. How she served us for many editions. Getting sentimental again. All that's left now is deciding on our layout for this week. And maybe squeeze in some more news? I've got to run now, but I left you some blue notes again. Oh, thank you. See you next week. Okay, cheerio. Have a lovely time. Have a nice weekend, Eleanor. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, they left you a little present in the printer. Okay. What is the present in the printer? Uh, okay, right. Place your first article, understanding your audience. Hang on, let's go to here. Where's our, where's our present? Oh, new publisher. Oh, is that the present? Ah, oh, they left us a little present about us. Uh, Wall Street stock crash. Okay, the item is finished. Let's drag it into the newspaper. Okay, so we can go into the bottom left or the bottom right. We'll put it in the bottom left. Excellent choice. Thank you very much. Uh, for a bronze tag that's placed in your newspaper, you gain sales. Ah, right. Okay. So we've got that bronze tag and that bronze tag. That's a number of sales. Okay. Some tags are more valuable than others, but they're also harder to find and require more effort. Okay. That makes perfect sense. This shows how many newspapers are expected to be sold by people on the streets. This is influenced by the tags that you place in your newspaper. So 2,000 potential sales. Another way to increase sales is to have subscribers. We don't have any yet, but we'll get to that later. Okay. Here you can see an estimation of how much money you'll make when the newspaper is issued. $600. Now, it doesn't seem very much, but maybe back in the 1930s, that was worth considerably more. I imagine it must be. Yeah. Okay. Different layouts can give different results. So experiment. We need another thing. We need another story, really. Because having just one sto two stories and a blank bit is a little bit rubbish, isn't it? I don't think we can get a story done, though, by Sunday. I, I don't see us getting another story done by Sunday. Because <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Found dead on steps. Um, okay. Dennis Brand. Oh, Dennis can do crime now. Oh, okay. Dennis, go and look at this. Office building. Six hours. Go and investigate somebody who's dead on some steps. There's still time to report on more news. Okay, I don't think we'll get it for this week's newspaper, though. I don't think that'll be sorted, but okay. So is Dennis gone? Yeah, so Dennis is out and about. Can we um, can we repair a few of these things or get rid of the broken stuff? Can we tidy up the rubbish? Somebody's wrecked a plant. The monsters. Um, anything else broken? No. Okay, that all looks good. Um, right, can we? Oh, hang on a minute. Sunday morning, time to roll the presses. Okay, how do I do that then? Print your first newspaper. Ah, right, over there. So we go like that. That's all we've got. Bit of a blank down here. Little bit rubbish, but never mind. Oh, no, hang on. Found dead in steps is... Is it not ready to go? I don't think it's ready to go, is it? Is it still with... Yeah, it's with you. It's with you. Hang on, we can click that, can't we? So, yeah, it's one and a half days away. Right, that's not going to fly. So... Let's start printing our newspaper. Here we go. Uh, oh, we have to actually manually pull the handle. That's quite nice and sort of tactile. There we go. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Start printing. Go. Printing. Okay, that goes away. Oh, look, it's doing lots of things. It's printing many copies. Okay, I mean, it's not exactly the best newspaper in the world, but they got 3,000 sold. Um, a people that values its privileges above its principles soon loses both. Economics is extremely useful as a form of employment for economists. Yes, it is. Okay, so we had... Uh, have we made... Is that a new balance? I didn't see what the original balance was, but that's quite good. So yeah, we sold it for 20 cents. We sold 3,000 copies, made 600 monies. Oh, okay, that's fine. And there's no ad revenue and no hidden agenda going on. Right, yeah, that... Good. That seems like a good thing. Hooray. Loan interest. Ah. Oh, no, that's good. We have no loan. So, okay, well, our loans have been cleared then. But, uh, yeah, we've paid a little bit in wages to the people that work there. And that is subscribers, is it? Don't know what that's telling us. Was that just expenses? Oh, okay. Right. There we go. So, we've got $9,960. That seems pretty good to me. Well, I'll be damned. 
They came back and destroyed our printer. Oh, what? No. Bertha. We need to expand anyway. Let's go. Oh, no. Dispose of the old printer. Oh, farewell, Bertha. Poor Bertha. I feel like we've not given Bertha enough of a send-off there. Move the desk. Okay, we've moved all the broken stuff. That's fine. Oh, okay. Sweeping station. Trash can. And, I don't know, I assume we're going to be able to hire a cleaner at some point. New things have happened. Okay, what a mess. Done. Build a sweeping station and assign a cleaner. Okay, right. So, yeah, they've made a bit of a mess. Go to here. Can we get the sweeping station? Uh, can we drag that? Where can that live? That's going to have to live in our room for a bit, but that's okay. So sweeping station and let's hire a person. I mean, shall we go for Elizabeth Anderson or Elizabeth Anderson? <laughs> what are the chances? I'm, I'm, I was going to say they must be sisters because they look alike apart from the hair, but um, would their parents be cruel enough to give them the exact same name? I don't know. Uh, do you know what, everybody? We're going to hire Elizabeth Anderson. I think they look pretty good. Welcome aboard, Elizabeth Anderson. Hard luck, Elizabeth Anderson. Right. So they can now clean up around the place, which is good. Add a fresh floor. Have we got the money to add a floor to our building? Okay, it costs a thousand. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, get that done, please. Um, I think we might need to move time on. So, right, stairs. Stairs are good. We like stairs. Helpful. All right, build a staircase. Okay, this is all fine. So drag that in to... Oh, there, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, so that goes up like that. Hang on a minute. Hang on, news is happening. Uh, printer output module, printer output mo okay. Printer things are happening. Printer belts. Hang on, we've got society news to go and report on. Dennis, go and do that as well. Cargo ship burned and sank. Okay, you go and look at that, please, while we're building everything. Um, and give me a sec, give me a sec. Right, what are we doing now then? So printer input module. So build the input. Then build the output, link it up, build a page module. Okay, so th this room is very dark. Can we put some lights up here as well? So printer input module. Oh, okay, well, the game is telling us where these things should go. Okie dokie, right, so over here. So build that, then build an output module just there. And then we put the belt in between them, do we? Uh... Ah, right, I see. So we put it into one, and then it kind of stretches out to the other. Uh, I kind of feel like the belt sort of went backward. Wasn't that input and that output, but okay, it doesn't really matter. So there we go, like that. And then printer page module goes in the middle. Okay, right. So that's the input module. Oh, much better than our old printer. I mean, it's significantly more vast. It's huge. Soon we'll be able to add more pages to this incredible machine. And don't be afraid to rearrange the printer later. I am afraid to rearrange the printer because I don't really understand what the bits do. It can even go through ceilings and walls. Oh, okay. Magic. Let's expand our workforce. Um, okay. Give me a second. Pause time for a second. Hang on. There are many things happening. Um, the ah, found dead on steps is ready. That's good. So if we go to here, can we put that into there? So... Old news. Ah, okay. So it's potentially old news. Okay, let's drop that back out of there for now. Uh, we'll have the cargo ship thing is still being worked on. Okay, so we could potentially include that, but it's old news. That's probably not a good thing. Right, but we have got some stories on the go. Uh, let's, so yeah, I want to put some lighting in here and a plant. We need some plants in here, please. Also, can we pick up and move that now? Can we move the sweeping station into here? Because that seems like a suitable little kind of, you know, cleaning cupboard type thing. And that leaves that office there for a lovely kind of corporate office type thing. There we go. Um, I am going to click on this only to look at where will plants be? Comfort? Um, oh no, tell me we can get plants. Can we get plants? Production accessories... Bring low on cash, take out a loan. Time is still paused. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, report a desk. Where's... Oh, we can't have plants. We can have lights, though, which are probably quite helpful. Um, we've got... What have we got? Available power 50. Use power 20. Right, so we're using 40% of our power. I think maybe 
some lighting over the machine would be quite useful. So put a light there and a light there and a light there and maybe a light as you come in through the door and then a light in the middle like that. So we can now see what's happening on that floor there. That's going to be handy. Right, and we're only 50% of power. Wonderful. Okay, build a new telegraphing station. Is that one broken? Or is that so we can get twice the amount of twice the amount of news coming in? Uh, they're 400 monies. Um, can we can we move that? Can we pick up the reporter desk and put that up there, and then bring in a telegraph station? and put it down here with the existing telegraph person. Every desk needs an employee, okie doke. Ah, shall we go for Tom Graham? I think we probably should. There you go, Tom, welcome aboard. Uh, right, okay, so that's done. And then now we need a new reporter desk. Ah, so we're going to double the amount of reporters. Okay, let's maybe put the reporters over that side then. Uh, we'll give them a light because we're nice like that. Hang on a minute. You need a lamp. There we go. You can see. Hurrah. And then let's get Ronald Porter, the only reporter. He's called Porter. <laughs> He's called Ro Porter. Okay. So Ronald Porter, the reporter, can come in. There you go. Right. So now we've got... Oh, he's got a hat on as well with a little bit of paper in. Uh, a globe. And we unlocked a globe. Okay. Is that important? I'm not entirely sure if that's important or not. I don't know. Pause time for a second. There are many things across the top here. And I kind of feel like we should be doing other stuff. Um, that is... Uh, oh, are they linked? Are they linked stories? Cargo ship burned and sank. New Orleans Harbour is done. Oh, do we have to put you into there to carry on that work? Ah, oh, okay, right. So that particular story is kind of rumbling on. Okay, so now enhance the uh, te telegrapher, telegrapher, or reporter see the result. Uh, let's get more stories because we're lacking in stories at the minute. So we'll click on you. How do we, how do we, uh, what do we do? Let's enhance the workplace by placing an accessory. Click here. Oh, I do have hazy memories of this. And then we could put a globe in which means society gets buffed by one and, ah, okay, it's a particular thing that buffs their role. Okay, so if we drop that in, uh, blue arrows indicate where the object can be placed and will be useful for boosting the productivity of the employees. Okay, so drop in a globe so they get know where things are. As you can see here, a blue arrow is added, indicating the employee scale has been boosted by the object. Oh, in there, I see, right. Over time, employees will get experience, which will also increase their skill. Okay, look, higher skill levels translate into faster production times. Right, that is very handy. So, let's do the same then over here, because it seems a bit unfair to have one person with a lovely globe and not another. So there we go. You can both have a lovely globe. So you've got a little boost and you have a little boost. Right, what can we give them? Can we boost them with anything? Mm, no. Society would be okay, but also it busts the telegraph people and these aren't telegraph people. Okay, never mind. Um, right, so now we've got another blue thing up here. Low on cash. Got $5,000. We're fine. Don't worry about that. What's that one? Oh, place your finished article. Right, so unpause time then. Hiring. Who are we hiring? Oh, there's just a new person ready to hire, I think. Okay, that it's Elizabeth Anderson. <laughs> okay, so... You're heading out to do some news, are you? Is that where you're heading out? That's ready to go, and they're still working on this. Right. Okay, so yeah, that's a big story then. That thing there is a big story. Uh, you're now just having a bit of a read. Okay, pause time. We've got... And ah, notice we now have an extra lamp here. Every lamp gives us one spot for handling news on the globe. The more telegraphers, telegraphers you have, the more news you can do at the same time. Okie doke, right. So let's go over there then. Um, on the eve of election, this employee is currently unavailable. Pick somebody else or wait for the reporter to come back. Oh, okay. So we can't do anything right now. Our reporters are currently out and about. I mean, you don't look overly busy, Dennis Brown, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of feel like you could be doing some more work. You look more like a spy, like an unconvincing spy. If you cut some eye holes in that, 
you could be like peeping through like a bad spy, but okay. So are we waiting for that's being typeset? And oh, I think is the reporter back? I th ah, there you go. The reporters come back. Okay, so they're now back and just kind of pootling about. We've now got two stories. Okay, ah, Dennis Brown, you can go and do this. You can do bridges and bottlenecks. You go and look at that. And then in Washington, you can go and report on the eve of election. So off you go, Ronald Porter. And now, I think that story's ready. But this one here is just, it's in the typesetting thing. Right, is there anything we can do to make you better? Can we buy you a lovely accessory of some kind? Because you're a bit slow. No, I don't think we can. Okay, never mind. Just going to wait for you to finish doing that. You can pass it on to them. They can then do their job while you work on the next thing. Yeah, you're already on it, look, which is good. Okay, okay. So we're going to get this done. So the first part of the story can be done, text slug and then a report. Okay, right. We'll just wait. Ten hours. Ten hours. Come on, folks. Come on, here we go. Let's run time on. Oh, I see. We have to hold the button and they it goes really quickly. Wow, that's brilliant. Right. The first bit's done. That's good. We have another thing coming in. Oh, crikeys. Um, Ronald Porter can report on that. Uh, Derlanger beats Jones. Oh, it's sport. It's a sporting thing. By split decision in 10 rounds in Philadelphia. Okay. So that's probably going to be interesting to some people. But now do we have to pick what the best things are going to be? Do we have to pick the best stories that we have available to make the more successful newspaper? I think we might do. However, I've only got three days and we do need to complete some of the stories. Because at the moment, all we have is that old one that's going to be really old hat. It's, it disappears after a week. So that might vanish soon. Uh, so yeah, we need to get this. I don't think we can put... Oh, can we put that in and just sort of leave it there? Ah, the item isn't finished yet. Only fully produced items can appear in the newspaper. But it's nearly done. Okay, yep, that's all it's going to take. It's only going to be a few minutes. Okay, now it is done. So we can put that in like that. So we get politics and society in. Okay, that's good. We're going to bin found dead on steps. That can go because it's old. I think by the end of the week, we can get some of these done. So that is the bridges and bottlenecks. That is eve of election. Ah, that is currently being uh, put in the assembler. Ah, right. Okay, this is good. This is all good. And looks like at the moment, that story there will make us 800 lovely monies. Okay, and if we put more things in, it's going to be even better. So hurry time on a bit. Right, pass that on to you. I think that story is done. So on the eve of election is done. Oh, well done. Matching tags on the same page gives us extra sales. Oh, I see. So because we've matched a politics tag and a politics tag, we get some extra sales out of it. We get a thousand extra sales. Oh, we can make quite a lot of money. We can make a decent amount of money. And then we've either got a sport tag or an economy tag. Doesn't match anything we already have, so we can't boost it that way. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, we lose some sales because there is an empty spot. But I think... Uh, there we go. Bridges and bottlenecks is done. So if we pop that in, uh, there we go. What's the minus 250 for the negative tags and empty spots? Why is there a negative tag or an empty spot? There isn't such a thing. Okay, never mind. We're losing 250 for some reason. But we can make 1,400 money. Although, in eight hours, we could potentially have a look if we speed time on a bit. That does make time go really quickly. That's brilliant. Um, let's take that out and put that in there. Does that change anything at all? No, that doesn't have any bearing. So how about put bridges and bottlenecks back in? Because that's probably more important. We're not so bothered about the sport thing. Can that not just go on the back page? <laughs> can we not have like two pages? Are we not allowed that? Is that not a thing we can do? Okay, so it's going to come up to the end of the week. And I think we're okay. And that's pretty, that's a good story. I like, I like that. It's a good newspaper. Right, there you go. Time to roll the presses. Print the second news, uh, second newspaper. Here we go. So boop and let go. And now it's printing. So can we go and see it printing? Uh, oh, there we go. It's in the new machine. Oh, dramatic things have happened. Seven. 
thousand newspapers sold record sales. The stock market is going up. It, uh, okay, we've we've seen that before, did we? It's the first responsibility of every citizen to question authority. But record sales, and then plus one. I don't know what that is. Oh, plus one influence gained from this outstanding print. Thank you very much. The cupboard chronicle looking very good. Right, so record sales one. Yeah, we made quite a bit of money. That's not too bad. We're going to power a little bit in wage, but that actually isn't too bad at all. And we've got a point of influence, which might mean that we sell more stuff next time, possibly. I'm not sure. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, we paid a bit of money again. That's all fine. No loan going on. We didn't need all that stuff. Right, what do we now do? Oh, employee development. Oh, John Higgins in production has become a junior. They get plus one in typesetting. That's quite good because that means he'll do that a bit quicker because that did take a very long time. Right. Okay. That looks good. Thank you. I'll leave recap. There we go. Oh, we now have a map. I don't recall this from before. Okay. So that's where we are. We can expand our business to these neighboring areas. I kind of feel like we shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> We've only just started. We've only made two newspapers. Um, Williamsburg. We can expand our business here. So they're interested in crime and sport. Okay, we have a sport thing already in the draw. That's quite good. Uh, so if we select that, choose this district to play for. Okay, so we do that. Uh, good choice. We can play one district every week. What do you mean play one district? What does that mean? What do you mean play one district? Okay, and that takes us back. Right, so now we need to view comfort levels. Okay, here's an overview of what we need to print to win over the district. So something sporty and something crime-based. And now I kind of feel like we're supposed to click on that and that to view comfort levels. This view mode shows our, how comfortable areas are in the tower. Okay, green represents a comfortable environment. Nice and comfy in the empty office. Red represents an uncomfortable environment. Yeah, okay, bit noisy over there. Some machines cause a lot of discomfort, like the printer. Nobody likes to work next to such an oily industrial machine. Indeed, we can build walls to limit the negative areas or add another floor. Right, okay, so pause time for a second. There is much to deal with. So we've got to get ourselves a crime story and potentially a slightly fresher sports story. But okay, what's going on in here? Ah, a sports story. Okay, Ronald Porter, go and have a look at the bowling alley over in San Francisco, I think. So you nip over there, have a look at that. Uh, Vara Papa takes lead in bowling tourney, uh, outstrikes Ada Harris in two-day individual title match. Sounds scintillating. And then over here, we've got Dennis, who can go and deal with uh, the turkey growers who are uniting. Okay, you nip into wherever that was in middle America and you go and look at a turkey farm. <laughs> okay. Uh, selling dress turkeys in cooperative lots. Very profitable for all farmers. Okay, I don't know where that is in America in the middle bit, but okay, right. So you lot can go and do that. Um, and yeah, we've got research ready. Uh, is that to do with Williamsburg? Um, I think, yeah, we've got to block this off because the... the um, Reporters over there are getting a bit annoyed about the noise. So let's put a wall in there, shall we? So a wall with a door. Uh, yeah, put that in. Put it, I just want to put it there. I kind of felt we should put it more over. But okay, we'll put it there. That's fine. Right, that goes in. We get an acoustic panel, a small fan, <gasps> a plant, oh, a clock, an air vent. Okay, we've got many exciting new things. So we can go and just, ah, I see what we need to do with those. So you are troubled by noise and you're saying it's a little bit warm up here and a bit noisy. Right, so we can try and sort this out. Oh, why have you got heartbreak? Don't be heartbroken. This place is uncomfortable, says Tom Graham. Tom, don't be heartbroken. Uh, how about then we put in another wall? And that should sort the noise out. And then it doesn't matter about the heat in that room because nobody cares because nobody's going to be in it. They're all fine. That, yeah, that is inherently noisy and hot. That's how that works. So, yeah, if we go into here, where are all those things? Is that that comfort? Here we go. So we can put a clock into rooms. Uh, oh, red apple painting is exclusive. Very nice. But if we put 
What does an air vent do? Counters heat, counters smell. Uh, which is the better option, though? The fan counters heat and smell, but also takes one power. Let's put a fan into that room there. That should keep it cool. And then noise-wise... Uh, where's the noise coming from? You're just at a desk. Where's the noise coming from? There was a soundboard thing. Acoustic panel. Put that across there. Does that sort your noise issue out? I think it does. Right, that's that done. And then, if we put another wall up here... Where are walls? That's reporting, production, utility. No, comfort, no. Where's printing? We're out at the top, structure. Right, wall with door. So put that right there. So we have a little spare room going on here now, which is good. And that room is, that desk is still a bit loud and a bit warm. Right, so if we go and sort that out, uh, we will have a fan because that makes sense. And then can we get an acoustic panel and just pop that in the middle of the wall there? Right, that sorted that out. And we've still got just under $6,000 left to get some plants because everybody likes a plant. We left room for the plants. So um, oh, that desk already got a plant. Okay, right, put a plant in like that. Can everybody have a plant? Is it? Yes. Okay, plant for you, plant for you. <laughs> Uh, you can have a plant as well. Do you know what you can have? Um, oh, we just put a plant in that room, look, just to make it nice. I don't think... Uh, well, that room doesn't have a plant. Oh, no, plant in that room, definitely. Plant in all the rooms. Can that room fit a plant in? Um, no, we can't wedge one on top of the printing machine. That's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Can we fit an air vent in there? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. To make the room cool down a bit. Right, I think everyone should be happy. I think if we unpause time, counter discomfort with objects. I think we should have done. Uh, unless it wants us to sort that out in there. But that doesn't matter because there's nobody in that room. That's irrelevant really in there. Uh, okay, I think it does want us to do that. Uh, let's get... Oh, I kind of like the idea of a clock as well. Can I put a clock in the middle? Just there, look. Yay, there we go. We're treating to all sorts of lovely things. You can have a clock as well, look. There you go. Aren't we nice? Uh, right. Fan in there, then, and noise can be a soundboard thing again, like an acoustic panel in the middle. Uh, have we still? Have we got to bring that all the way down to nothing? Crikey's okay. <laughs> Good grief! Right. Um, I think then let's get another fan on that side to sort. It's still too hot in there. Okay, and then put an air vent in, in that corner. Good grief. Uh, and then a noise thing. We might just have to put another acoustic panel in. So put another one in, like that. Okay, we've countered the discomfort with objects. We've, apart from there, there's no way we're going to sort that out, because that's a gigantic big industrial machine. <laughs> um, I think most people are quite happy. What's that? Dangerously low supply. Oh, we need to order some paper. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll have a large delivery of paper, please. Because that would be rubbish, wouldn't it? If we came to print the newspaper and there was no paper, that would be a little bit naff. Uh, we've got all these people that we can employ. Oh, a resupply desk. Storage cabinet. Oh, that's to do with paper. That's going to be to do with paper, isn't it? Okay. Get the supplies rolling. So clear that, clear that. These crates need to be transported, but a supply desk to facilitate assign somebody to transport resources. Okay. Pause time. We need another floor. We've run out of room. 2,000 monies. But our little place is growing, look. It's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, and then we need to get some stairs in, I believe, which is going to be that there, is it? So, um, yeah, stairs can go in do you drag a door first that you drag the door in first like that and then the stairs can go like that okay so you can go up to that floor and they're going to need some lighting but what do we need supply desk uh, storage here we go so storage cabinets can go here put a couple of them in keeping an eye on the money and then we want a resupply desk so put that there 
This can just be a great big kind of storage thing. And then who would like to come and do that? Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia loves resupplying stuff. So you can nip in there, Eric. Right. There we go. So if we tick time on, are you now going to nip down here and pick up all of our paper, which is currently out here in the rain, which probably isn't great. And then you're going to put it up here. OK, that's good. Lights. Lights, lights, lights. We need some lighting going on. We'll put a light there. And we'll put a light over there. Hang on. News is coming in. News is happening. Um, we would like... Oh, we can focus on things. Yeah, if we could focus on crime to make the people of Williamsburg happy, that would be quite good. Uh, marooned on a small rock. Or mayor election votes counted. Oh, that might be quite good. Yeah, okay. Go and do that. The official figures give Mayor James J. Walker a plurality over Fiorello H. LaGuardia. I don't know what a plurality is, but okay, we'll just go for it. People like that. So yeah, if we could focus on crime, that would be quite good. Because we're going to have a sport thing done, and an economy thing done, and then we're researching whatever that was. Social, was it? What is that? Oh, politics. Okay, so yeah, we need a crime thing to make the people of Williamsburg a bit happier. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's only Tuesday. So you choose that. We can get loads of this done. It's all going to be fine. So that's a little bit old. They are doing the typesetting on that. That's also being typeset and that's being currently reported on. Right. OK, good stuff. People are looking very busy. I don't quite know how to do this. Counter discomfort with objects. Click on icon to view objects again, help countering certain types of discomfort. Yeah, but it's a massive industrial machine. I don't think I can bring that down. Unless we take out that door. Do we take that door out? Because how are we supposed to bring that down? An acoustic panel. But can we put... We've got nowhere to put acoustic panels because the machine is too big. <laughs> the machine is massive. So I can't fit any in. I, I don't know what you want me to do, game. Um, if we get rid of... Can we get rid of that? What if we sell that? Sell the wall with door. Right. And now we should be able to fit more things in here, possibly. So another acoustic panel. I don't know how we're supposed to do this game. I don't get it. Um, or let's put the noise down a bit there. And then heat wise, got an air vent for heat and smell. I mean, a small fan. Could we put a fan in there as well? More about comfort. Oh, we done the thing. Oh, I think it's now counted as being managed. OK, right. There we go. So it over here is noisy and hot because there's a giant machine. Right, understood. Uh, learn how comfort affects your employees. Let's see how this employee is feeling. Click on the button. Okay, clickety click. How are you? Uh, the comfort levels of the environment affect this bar. Okay, so they're quite happy. It plays an important role in the overall concentration of the employee. I notice we haven't got any toilets right now. That might be a bit of an issue possibly. Right, okay, they're happy. Keeping all the stats high will bring happiness to the employee and increase their productivity. If the overall concentration becomes too low, our worker may start to work sloppy. Right, so keep them happy, make sure the needs are met, and they're going to work really well. Wonderful, I'm with you on that. So Chappie's now going through here, go through there, go up here. That room is apparently a bit noisy and a bit hot. It, there's literally nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> There's some shelves. Some really rowdy shelving. Uh, okay, fine. We need to give you uh, potentially an air vent then. We'll drag an air vent on. I can go above the door possibly. Uh, and then noise-wise, noise counter, an acoustic panel. Again, we'll put that above the door too like that. There we go. Right, you should be all happy in there. And I think for now... We can't... Oh, I was going to say we can't do too much else, but news is happening. Crime news. Here we go. Dennis Brown, report on the loaded pistol found at a playground. My goodness me. Two scared teens flying weapon from nightly liquidation. Um, uncomfortable workplaces. Move some stuff around. Uh, we just did, I think. I think it's got a tick on it. Ideally, people shouldn't work in uncomfortable areas. Try moving this desk or build some walls to protect it. Paper trash. What's wrong with that desk? I don't want to move the desk game. No, I, f I flatly refuse. Um, what does it want us to do now? Pro what are we doing? But, oh, I think it wants us to move something, but I don't think we need to. 
I think we're fine, game. I think we're fine. Stop nagging about the comfort. We made it really comfortable. We spent a lot of money on lovely things. Although, actually, hang on. Does the person there have a little plant on their desk? No, they do not. Can we give them a little plant? Uh, yes, yeah, small plant. Pop it onto the desk. There we go. Right, you can have a plant. And life is a little bit better, which is wonderful. Um, okay, more news is happening. Do we need more news? We've got a couple of stories already. Uh, so we've got a sports story, an economy story, a politics story, and then another another crime story is coming through. So they're going to be happy over in Williamsburg, I think. Uh, let's, we'll bin that story, because that's now old hat. So get rid of that. I don't need that. This can then get put in here, though. Ah, I see. So tr let's try to sell as many newspapers as possible by collecting those shiny tags. So if we do that, that's now matching the sport tag in Williamsburg. And now we're going to sell a thousand extra copies. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we could put that in potentially. That'd be okay. And then if we put the crime one in, they're going to be very happy with that. Right, there we go. That's what we're going to do. Our third newspaper is sort of looking pretty good. It's looking okay. Can we get some more paper in? Can we order more paper? $200 for a large delivery of paper. Yeah, do that, please. Because I can't see any paper over on our shelves. I'm a bit concerned that we haven't got any. So, uh, yes, if we could. Are you bringing the paper in? Uh, oh, more new things. Water cooler. Yes, a place for people to go and have a chat. Somebody is getting thirsty. Right, you are getting a little bit thirsty. Yeah, okay, so food or water stuff. Uh, okay, not a problem. Let's go get where are we just there let's get some water coolers in i'm not quite sure where they can go it can fit right in the middle there it can fit in the middle there for a hundred monies can we fit one in here uh no we might have to move can we move the plant can we move the plant around? if we put that plant there and then sell the small plant because there is already a plant in there can we then fit a water cooler? yes we can brilliant okay i mean it'd be good if we could turn that into like a little Sort of, uh, if we put another wall back in and turn that into a little kind of break room or something. But for now, let's just leave it like that. Let's just leave it ticking over. Uh, oh, that, that person's now happy. They're loving life. You're doing some cleaning. It's all coming together. Right. Runtime on pretty quickly. I want to get the gun story done. Right. Gun story is done. So if we put that into here, uh, there we go. Oh. More new things. A oh, toilet. Okay, a toilet and a sink and a mirror. Oh, and some tiles. Was that possibly? Okay, somebody needs to use a bathroom. Build a toilet. Uh, yeah, pause time. That is quite important. We don't want somebody to embarrass themselves around the place. That would be bad and also messy. Let's try and sell as many newspapers as possible by collecting the shiny tags. Okay, you've said that before. The more rare they are, the better. Yep, yeah, we're with you on that. But, oh crikey, if you place the same tag on a page more than once, you earn even more sales. I think you've told us that before. That's fine. So yeah, we've got a combo. We've technically got two combos, I think. So we've got the sport there and then the crime there. Or is it just is it just the first one that matches for the combo? But okay, so we've got that done. And yeah, a thousand bronze tags. Oh, 2,000 silver tags. Where's the silver tag? Oh, no, there's none in there. Sorry, I misread that. No, there's three 1,000 sales from the bronze tags. And then no, no combos. Oh, I thought we had a combo. I thought the game said, yay, combo. But no, it doesn't combo with that. But that is going to be good for Williamsburg. Right. Okay, so three different stories, but no combo points. That That's okay. We're going to make 800 monies from it. And the people of Williamsburg are going to be happy with us, possibly. Right. Let's make a toilet. Let's make a little kind of, you know, a, a place to go and freshen up, shall we say. So how does it work then? So yeah, we'll put a little kind of, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll block it off. So is it worth... I don't want to move them over there. Because that room is going to be noisy and unpleasant. But if we could have... Or do we just put it down here? We don't need an office. Why do we need an office? Could we have the loo down here? Just sort of pop a loo in, or maybe put the loo... No, not the loo in here, because we have to go through the toilet to get to the printing presses. That is a bit weird. Just there seems like a really good place for it. So maybe... Can we move them over? Move you over, and then move you over. And hopefully you're going to be okay. 
So you nip over to your desks, please. That's going to be fine. Right, so you're back over here. Uh, we possibly will put another wall in. Don't you worry about that. It's all fine. That can come over like that for a bit. So yeah, let's get a toilet in. So right, one toilet is going to make a bit of a smell. That is understandable. If we put another toilet in, because they're cubicles by the look of it, that should be fine. So now it's particularly whiffy in there. Uh, and then what else was there? There was a sink, I think I saw. So yeah, pop a sink just there. And then the mirror can go above the sink because that's how that should work. And then get ourselves a wall with the door, put that in. I kind of want to put it there, but that's now in the way. So move that over. Wall with the door goes in like that. And then we need to put things in to deal with the smell and everything else. Uh, can we have a plant, please? Can we have a plant in the room just because that's nice? Right, dealing with smells, smell counters, mirrors. Mirrors counter smells. No, they don't, game. <laughs> don't be so silly. Mirrors do not counter smells. That is just talking nonsense. Um, tiles apparently counter smells as well. I don't think it does, but okay. We'll tile the bathroom because it looks nice. How about an air vent? That probably does quite well. And we'll put a fan in as well. We'll put a fan to blow the air into the air vent. And if we have another, another air vent, does that help? Put it in that corner. There we go. The smell isn't so bad now. The smell is okay. Yeah, we've got a mirror to deal with it. It's all fine. Okay, there we go. Bathroom's gone in. And yeah, if we move that over a bit, if we push that there, can we then get another thing in? No, not like that. We can't. Hang on a second. We shall move things around a bit to try and get the thing in that gap. Yeah, there we go. So that room is a little bit warm. Got one fan in there. So let's try and deal with heat. Where do we go? Heat counter, uh, air vent and a fan. Put another fan in. Yeah, let's put another fan in, shall we? Uh, like that, in fact. And then we can move. Oh, crikey. This all needs rejigging around. The light's no longer in the middle. So put the light in the middle. And they've got a couple of these sound acoustic board things. So bring that over like that. Right, now a little room here which doesn't do anything, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And then a bathroom over here where there is a little bit of a chance of a smell, but yeah, it's a bathroom. What can you do? We can't do two. We could put another fan. We need to put another fan sort of there, but it's not going to work, is it? And a fan there just doesn't do anything, I don't think. No. Okay, Joe, you know what? It's a bathroom. There is always going to be a little bit of a pong in a bathroom. You're just going to have to live with that, I'm afraid. I want to get through to publishing our newspaper. I want to see what happens. Because we've not got any kind of blue message things anymore. Um, I think it is ready to go, isn't it? I think it's ready to go. So, yeah, it's all done. So, all we need to do is get through to... Here we go. Look, I was going to say get through to Sunday morning. But Sunday morning has already got through to us. Time to roll the presses. Uh, yeah, okay. Printing. Oh, that's, that's doing something. Uh, start printing. And there we go. Set and go. And boom. There we go. Right, print many exciting copies. The machine does its thing. Loaded pistol found at Playground. 4,000 newspapers sold. Guess it will always be some crime to read about. Whoever said it's not whether you win or lose that counts, probably lost. <laughs> okay, we write some good stuff. We write some very exciting things. So sold 4,000 sales, made 800 monies. We're up to 1,148 because if I'm completely honest, I took my eye off the ball and didn't see how much money we haven't got anymore. And we've picked up two influence which is not too bad at all. Right, okay, and Williamsburg, we've now completed. People now know about us in Williamsburg. Uh, and first try success bonus. Okay, don't know what that is, but right you are. Uh, we've paid out a little bit more money now in wages because one of our people got a bit better, but that's fine. We've still got a tiny bit of money left. I'm sure it'll all be good. And oh, and now Brad Coleman, the production person, so on the second sort of laying, laying out table thing, has leveled up as well. Uh, this shows the skill the employer's leveled up in. So, yeah, the second table thing. This, combined with desk accessories, can vastly improve the work speed. Okay, that's pretty good. The more somebody works, the more experienced they become. Take care, though, as experienced employees may become a bit more needy. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They're becoming good at stuff. And now it wants us to go over here to the Mafia hideout. I know your uncle very well, and I'm saddened by his sudden disappearance. Oh dear. Right, turns out our uncle is in with the mob. Okay, brilliant. I hope nothing happened to my associate. I've invested a lot in, a lot in your business, you see, and it's time I see some returns. Oh no. Uncle Dave, what did you do? Everybody can print a good story, but not printing politics this week might pose a challenge. I don't want these so-called leaders fear-mongering your readers. Okay, so you want no politics. Uh, yeah, okay, I think we can do that. If you satisfy the requirements, these are the rewards that will be paid out. Do we have to get in bed with the Mafia? <laughs> do we have to do that? I don't want to do that. I feel like that might be a bad thing to do. I kind of feel like we should possibly just go, ah, I'm right, actually, thank you, Mr. Mafia person. I'm just going to go and get a cup of tea from the uh, little cafe next door and get my hair done. Goodbye. But no, I think we have to we have to abide by that, do we? Okay, so the Shrouded Prelude. Uh, yeah, no politics. We get four influence and 500 money. Okay, I mean, there are advantages to working with the mob. Who would have thought it? Oh, I see what it means when it says you can play one of these each week. They're like a little kind of card thing that we can play on the map. And it's a, like a little mini objective sort of a thing. Okay, right, that sounds quite good. Right, let's go and look at a district. Although we have to be a little bit picky with these because, of course, we can't do a politics thing because the mafia will presumably come and you know, take our legs off if we do that. So uh, how about uh, over there, Bayon? That sounds like a fun place. They want society and entertainment. East New York is crime and alarming. Okay, right, that's a bit of a surprise. Who else can we have with that? Um, oh, we've got Maspeth. Uh, they would like sport and adventurous. Okay, likely discovered in the news with crime and society. Or, oh, Wall Street. Oh, oh, they're going to want politics though. And we can't do politics because of the mob. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Which is the nearest? Which is the nearest to us? We're there, I think. Uh, I mean, Wall Street's nearest. We can't do that. Uh, over there, look. Let's go to here. We'll do some society stuff and we'll do some entertainment. Yeah, we'll pick that, please. And then what's that do then? Breaking news telegram. Millions of people become unemployed with no end in sight. Prohibition Mafia jumps in whole. Left by closing factories. Tragic stories sell publisher. Um, okay, right. So we're being told all these terrible things. Okay. And now we can go back. Right, Monday. Oh, it's January in 1930. Oh, I think you're ready to proceed on your own now. Are you sure, Eleanor? Are you actually sure? This will be the last you hear from me in person for a while. Are you in trouble with the mob as well? <laughs> Is that the problem? As usual, I have left some small tips for you on the way. Oh, thank you so much. But I hesitate to explore on your own. I mean, things go wrong when we do that, but okay. There are many ways to run a successful news empire, and you will see none of those things. Oh, and by the way, let's expand a newspaper with an extra page, shall we? Yes. Yes, absolutely. You may have to move some stuff around, but I promise you it's worth it. Good luck. And there we go. New. Another printer page module. Oh, but is it free? Is it free? Is that like a little gift that we've been given? Because... It looked to me like it had, um, yeah, it's got like a minus that the sort of price is crossed out. So is that free? Uh, how does how does that work then? Oh, I've, oh, right, okay. I've boxed them into this room here. But the newspaper guys, the reporters might have to go up here. Because I think we do, how does that work? Oh, oh, I see. No, I see the problem here. We can't get one in because we can't afford it. Okay, we might possibly have to build some of our printer page module thing uh, with money from the mob. But that's fine. It'll be all right. Uh, show upgrade suggestions. Uh, oh, okay. This wasn't what I was expecting. Brooklyn Industry City Harbour. The world map is locked. The big floor globe is locked. I don't... I. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that just showed me. I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. Uh, okay. Okay, so the mob aren't bothered about what we put into the paper as long as it's not politics. If we put politics in, then we're probably going to go with, you know, swim with the sharks or whatever it is. I don't know, go paddling with fish or something. So we don't want to do that. So 
uh, where where was that thing? It's up here, isn't it? So we want to do anything except that, but they like society. So let's focus on society research, please. Um, every tag belongs to a category. If you're not sure in which category a tag belongs, hovering over it will give you a hint. Okay, that's that's good. So we've got unemployment rises. So we've got crime with a bit of society. We want entertainment, really. Uh, so yeah, can we have those two? Focus on those, please. That'd be better. Um, and how's everyone looking? Is everybody happy? Yeah, I think everyone looks pretty happy. So I think what we might need to do is we might need to lay off the spending for a while because, yeah, we have spent quite a lot of money on, you know, lights and fans and mirrors and toilets and plants. Very important, you know, worth the investment. But we might have to lay off a little bit on that. And um, and then, yeah, just sort of uh, hold back on the spending and just get get this newspaper done for the week. Get the one done with the mob and then get the money and then get our extra printing machine thing. Right, let's go and report on some society stories because over in Bayon, is that how you say that? Bayon, I don't know, Bayon there, they would like some society stuff. So how about that one over there, Planet Pluto? What's that about? Columbia University, Planet Pluto, that's inspiring and society. Oh, okay, right, they've got different things. Uh, that'll remain open until we close it. Closing it enables the telegrapher to search for a new item which may be more suitable for your needs. Click on the button indicator below arrow to close the line. Oh, oh, so we can close that down. So that's a capital fire. So that's a society with politics element and that society with guns. Okay, uh, we'll go, we'll go for that one. We'll go for that and we'll put Dennis Brown into that. That's fine. So Dennis, you go and look at that. We're not interested in that. Skip it, please. Yeah, get rid of that. And that opens up a line for us to go and look at something else. And that as well. Do you know what? We'll skip that too. We'll skip that. Close that down. So now we've got, yeah, available kind of space to go and look at some more stuff. Okay, so yeah, they're researching. They're trying to find all the best stories. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, we can run time on nice and quick. Ah, there we go. Entertainment. Horrible showing. Oh dear. Okay, so something bad happened at a cinema. Uh, right, Ronald, you go and report on that, please. Elegant romance movie hit cinemas. <laughs> okay, we don't need an apostrophe there. Who's doing this? The cinemas. It's a plural of cinema. It doesn't need an apostrophe, but okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's get that then done. We'll get that. Uh, there we go. Is there another story coming in? No, but that is ready. Uh, that's politics thing. No, in the bin in the bin or the mafia will put us in the bin in a more sort of permanent forever kind of status uh right that's been reported on that's now being typeset and the reporting is still going on yeah okay that's all good so do that run time on we need another story is there not another story out there oh there's another one here thousands watch circus parade ronald you go and look at that 40 elephants 700 horses and a cycling april bike sounds amazing yes absolutely right get that done as well we need that done really for sunday we need that done uh we've got that done so we can put planet pluto into the paper and that gets us a times two bonus shrink that out of the way and move that out of the way so um okay so we've got yeah inspiring and society that's good uh, is that done? Oh, that's done. Horrible showing. Reward ready. Oh, okay. We'll take a reward. Thank you. Do we put it in the top to get the reward? I'm not quite sure. 2,000 sales. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, hang on. Put that at the top because it's got the two tags, I think. Yeah, okay. So do that. And then if we get that in, that's going to pair up with the entertainment tag there to give us a bit of a boost in terms of a combo thing. Okay, that's pretty good. That could help out quite a bit. So that's going to bag us 1,100 money right now, which is good. That's going to be helpful. Yeah, if we could get that done, how are we doing with that? Completes Sunday at 10.42. Ah, okay. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Um, and then, yeah, this is going to be potentially a bit old hat by the time we look at it. Um, or that is as well, because we don't know what to sort of investigate next week just yet. So hold fire on those. Hold fire on those things. What is the big sort of sticking point here? Uh, the assembler. Okay, so whereabouts are you, assembler? Can we buy you things? Can we buy you lovely things? Uh, type setting desk. 
thought it said you was at the assembler. Typesetting is in pro... Oh, no. It's typesetting in progress. Ah, right. Botherations. Okay, so now it goes over to you. We do need to start rolling the press. It's Sunday morning. We're going to run out of time. <laughs> we need 12 hours to get this done. Ah, bother. Okay. How long have we got? Uh, yeah, time is ticking down. If you could... Six hours. Six, five hours. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Rick goes so quick. Typeset. No, what are you doing? You're... Assemble. Assemble like you've never assembled before. Person over here, assemble. Um, it's going to take you two hours. We need to start printing really soon. One hour and as soon as it's done, 55 minutes, 38 minutes, 21 minutes, 5 minutes. Boom. Right, pause time. That can go in over here. We get a tag combo boost. One of those as well. $1,500 for that. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I assume the words are all fine. I assume it's all fine. So, yes, indeed. Start doing that. So, there's entertainment for the people in Bayon. And there is society for the people there. And for the Mafia, we're not printing politics. Hooray! Okay, yeah, start. Absolutely. Let's get this done, please. Set and go. And the printing begins. In we go. That goes through. Okay, wonderful. Seven and a half thousand newspapers sold. Record sales. There is still good left in the world. Never before have they entertained me this much. And there we go. Record sales. Two districts. Four hidden agenda points. Okay, that's possibly a bad thing because it's you know collaborating with the mob. I don't know, but we're now almost on three thousand dollars. That's really good. So the people of Bayon like us, which is great. We want nothing but success for you and your paper. This way your debt will be cleared in no time. What debt, scary mafia man? <laughs> what debt? I'm just a man of business, as your uncle knows. Okay, just a little bit alarmed. Uh, yeah, we're paying a bit more money because people are scaling up, but we're okay. Still got two and a half thousand dollars, which is wonderful. Oh, and these two have leveled up. Oh, there we go. John Higgins, the typesetter, is leveling up very quickly. That's really good for us. That means he'll do that job a bit quicker. Okay. Oh, when you complete one thing, it then branches out into the other ones. Okay. Why don't we pick another district to conquer? And then we've got a uh, hidden agenda again. So what's that? Um, print an alarming story. Word on the street is that the coppers hold some dossiers about our Irish rivals. A trove of secrets that could tip the scales in our favour. But we don't have to go and do that, I don't think. The previous one was kind of, you have to go and deal with the Mafia. But now I don't think we do. Um, they would pay 500 monies, but it's the Mafia. So let's go and pick another district. And then I think we'll leave the Mafia alone this time. Uh, Port Newark. Entertainment and Gossip, Port Richmond, Society and Tragic. Oh dear. Long Island City. Oh, we need, uh, there's going to be more page in the newspaper. Okay. Maspeth, Sport and Adventurous or East New York. That could branch down here. We could complete all that off. Let's go there. East New York. Crime and something alarming. Although if we are doing something alarming, it will make sense to also work with the Mafia. But I don't want to work with the Mafia. <laughs> because it's just, it's just a bad thing. Or... Wall Street, just across the uh, across the sort of uh, river bit there. Economy, politics. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll go for Wall Street, thank you very much. We'll give that a go. And um, yeah, we'll leave the Mafia alone this time. We'll leave them alone because they're a little bit... Are you sure want to proceed without all the gods? Yes, I don't want to mess with the Mafia because they will break my thumbs and such like. Okay, to wrap things up, I'd like to print a two-page edition of our newspaper. I know, a newspaper consisting of two whole pages. It's madness, but we're going to give it a go. And I think now we have the money to do that. We've got the cash to get the extra kind of page printing thing in. The only thing is, we might have to move things around a little bit. So what I'm now thinking that we have to do is put the newspaper printing stuff up here and then put all of the kind of paper storage stuff down here and then move all the newspaper stuff around a bit to get the extra page printing module thingamajig in. That's what we have to do, but this might be a little bit fiddly. So, uh, okay, we're going to move it around. 
and this is probably going to take a while. So, oh, that's definitely not worked. Okay, hang on a second. Right, printer page module goes in. Printer output module can't go in because that desk is there. Right, hang on. Let me just go and move all these things around because this might take a little while to sort of uh, to shuffle around because, oh, there are many things all over the place. So, uh, yeah, let me just kind of go and reshuffle things. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll get the printer thing up there and the paper storage down here. Right, there we go. Our kind of storeroom thing is down there and the printer is up here. And what I've done is I've kind of spread the individual printing modules apart just to maybe try to bring the impact of the noise and the temperature down a bit. Because over here, look, it does dip down. So I thought maybe if we can spread it out a bit across the entire room, that might help us manage the noise and temperature. So let's get in the other new thing now. So another printer page module. So pop that in like that. And then we need the printer belt. But this is free, I think. So it doesn't really matter. So that can then go from there. And it can go all the way. It can't go all the way across there. Okay, hang on. How does that work then? Drag that in. That can connect like that. Oh, we've got to do it individually. Oh, is that thing in the way? That might be in the way. Okay, put that out of the way maybe is that out of the way enough possibly not i don't know drag it down here for now is that the problem is that the issue that we're having uh yes okay so the acoustic panel which goes on the wall was a problem for that thing it seems a bit weird but okay and now we can tuck it back underneath okay <laughs> it's fine uh, we'll put that there because why not that'll do so now can we have two pages in our newspaper. We've got one and we've got two. Okay, I assume they're the right way round. I don't know. I don't know how the printing machine works, but I assume that's the right way round. So now we've got, oh yeah, page one and page two. Okie dokie. Right, this is very good. So let's go and grab some stories. Let's go and do that. We might need to get another reporter in as well, which could be quite good. Um, yeah, you can report on that because it's just a thing to go on the second page. That could be quite good. And then a gun thing. Oh, oh, hang on. That's the police archives. That's the thing the Mafia wanted us to do. But I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to go and look at the Institute of Business and Labour. Hooray for that. OK, and then we will hire another reporter as well. I think maybe we're going to have to get another one of those in. Um, oh, where where can they live? Where can another reporter live? They might need to live over here. We could take that wall out now, actually. We could take that out because we don't need it here because it was to prevent the noise. So, um, uh, yeah, OK. Or maybe they make noise over there. Let me rejig that a little bit more and then we'll get another reporter desk in, hire another reporter and send them out to do some good old scooping. Oh, this is completely amazing. So I've just put the new reporter desk in, there it is. And of course we need a new reporter and who do we have available but Clark Kent. I mean, who else are we going to pick? We're of course going to put Clark Kent onto the team. I mean, looks a bit familiar to that guy that I've seen flying around, but Clark Kent wears glasses, so they couldn't possibly be the same person. But in you come Clark Kent, you've got a good reputation. So there we go, we now have Clark Kent on board which is completely wonderful. Do you have a story to go to at the moment, Clark? No, you do not. Um, we have got an economy thing. Oh yeah, it's being worked on. So that's quite good. But yeah, we do need a politics thing. So let's maybe prioritize politics. And uh, right, let's see what we can find. Can we go and send Clark Kent away to investigate politics? Apparently we have a dangerously low supply of food. Okay, we'll order some food and we'll order some more paper, please. Um, I didn't realise we had to stock up on food. I do apologise, folks. Sorry about that. I thought you nipped out to the cafe or the restaurant down there, but no, apparently you expect us to feed you as well as, you know, give you a job in a room with a desk. But yeah, that's fine. That's okay. All right, what do you want to do now? How are those two things doing? Are they both... Right, the reporting is finished on one and not on the other. Okay, so we do need another story. But yeah, we do need the politics story. Uh, let's get... Um, and hang on, that's politics. That's a politics story. Oh yeah, we'll have that please. Absolutely. Um, yes, factory, canteen. Oh, it kind of branches into two things. Okay. Uh, right, Dennis Brown, you can go and look at that. No, you can't. You can go and look at that. There we go. You go and do that assembly line work. Uh, too repetitive for me. 
that's fine. You'll be all right. You'll you'll have fun doing it. It's all good. And then a police car exploding on the main road. Um, Clark Kent could go and look at that. Clark Kent can nip over there. I mean, it's just a short flight, a, a literal flight for him. I mean, I don't know what you mean. It's short flight on a plane, of course. He's not going to fly there on his own. That'd be silly. Uh, yeah, to go look at an exploding police car that he possibly should have stopped. But never mind, never mind. It's all good. Right. I think we're doing okay. I think, yeah, have we got, is that an old story? Now that's new as well. So we could put that into, let's put that onto the second page. We'll drop that down like that. So we've already got a story in the paper, which is pretty good. So yeah, let's try it. Oh, is that one done? Oh, that's done as well. That's an economy story. So they quite like that. So it's going to get double the tags, but it has only got the one tag. So if we have got one with double tags, we'll move it in. But for now, that can go in there. And that completes the, um, the sort of interest thing for Wall Street, which is good. Okay, right. It's looking good. We've got a few days left of doing the uh, doing the reporting and such, so we should be okay. Oh, there's further work to do on the exploding police car thing. Okay, who do we send over then? So Clark Kent's over there. It would be quite good if we could cover that one. Though it does say five days to cover that. Really? Five days? Uh, can we put you into there? You go into there because that's politics and unrest. And we haven't quite got the politics thing sorted out yet. So you go and deal with that. Okay, that's pretty good. Happy with that. Um, and then, uh, no, that's that one there, isn't it? What's that one? Third bootlegger court. Uh, okay, do we put somebody over here for this? That's another financial thing. That would be a good uh, sort of uh, combo, sort of uh, tag matching boost thing. Right, let's see if we can get all of these things done because that's quite a lot of work for everybody to do. I think that is done. So the new factory opening thing is done. That's a politics story. So that could possibly... Let's put it there because I think that'll be good for that. So there you go. Three bronze stories in. We're going to make $1,000 off that already. And we've still got one and two, three slots left. Oh, bother. We're going to have a blank slot, which is a little bit unfortunate, but never mind. Um, unless we can just report on this really quickly Clark Kent get in there and do that go one day left we might be able to we might be able to if you hurry up Clark Kent <laughs> if you get there really quickly and we know you can he can get a shift on can Clark Kent he can move really quickly when he wants to um then yeah maybe we can get that done I don't think we can get that done that's an entertainment story do you know what send you to do that anyway because we could potentially, we could potentially sort of get that done. It would be fun if we could write our own headlines, if we kind of got a little sort of praise of the story, and then we could choose what we called it. Because yeah, this is about a boxing thing, but yeah, it's already called Decades First World Title Fight. It'd be fun if we could change it, or just sort of customise things a little bit, put in our own names, or just change things around a bit. Yeah, we could put, you know, sort of it's about boxing. You could put, you know punchy man beats other punchy man or whatever yeah that kind of stuff it would be fun if you could customize the headlines a bit i get why you can't but i think it would be a fun thing um okay it's going to get to sunday roll the press oh that person's a bit sad that person's a bit sad why are you a bit sad can't concentrate i need to go to the toilet uh i mean the toilets are here they're, they're there you can nip to the loo if you like i'm not stopping you do i have to tell you <laughs> all right your mum go to the loo uh okay we haven't got the stories quite complete yet. That is going to be a good story. Oh, it's only an hour away. It's one hour away from being typeset. Okay, that's fine. That'll go in. Right, that is done. That's three tags. So I think if we drop that in, yes, that's many things. That can come back in and go to there. And then we could put, say, another... Drag that back out and drag that back out. And then we've got another politics story on the front page that gets us a lovely combo boost and then we can put that in on the back page it's not the best of back pages let's be honest and it's going to take way too long to get those other things in but yeah it's it's okay it's a page two and we could potentially make 2200 money from it we're gonna do it let's just go let's print our first newspaper with two-ish pages. <laughs> One and a bit pages. Oh, look. You can see it going through to the other thing. There we go. We've got 11,000 newspapers. Go us. To be happy is only to have free one soul from the unrest of unhappiness. 
Mm, that's what I would have said. Politicians should read science fiction, not westerns and detective stories. Okay, it seems a bit weird, but there we go. So we've got an influence point from uh, selling lots of papers. And look at that. We've made a good chunk of cash there. That's very impressive. Wall Street likers now have completed that. More influence comes our way. Pay a little bit out on the wages. Oh, somebody has gone up to silver. <gasps> John Higgins. He's a meteor now. He's not a junior. He's a meteor. Well done, John Higgins. That's very impressive. Okay, so we're pretty good at typesetting now. And supplying is pretty good. And you become better at doing the telegraph work. Right. That's that's really good. Well done, folks. Well done. Very impressive. I will now get to pick another thing again. Okay, uh, let's have a little look around. I'll just pick some stuff. Right, we're going to try to work our way into the East Village over there. Because that's on Manhattan. And Manhattan's the exciting bit of New York that appears in all the films. Sorry about the rest of New York. I do apologise. But yeah, that's the exciting bit that everybody kind of recognises. So we'll try and move up into that bit, I think. Confirm that. We're not going to go and work with the mob. We get a workbench. So repairs are going to be a thing now. And I think what we'll do is... We will wrap things up for now with our little look at News Tower. I think we have had a pretty good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And I really do enjoy this. I really like this. I think maybe, I know we've seen it once before and this time round as well, but I think maybe when that goes into full release, so not early access, but maybe when it goes into full release, we will have a proper full series of that. Just because I would like to see what else you can do in the tower. Yeah, we've got this sort of printing machine on that floor now. We'll have other floors with various other things on it. I imagine you'd get more sort of reporters and more telegraph machines and possibly more typesetting things. And that would be useful because that's often where it kind of falls down. That does take quite a long time. So getting more of those in would be good as well. And then I don't know. I don't know what else it kind of unlocks. I'm not entirely sure. There's clearly some sort of um, like a global aspect to it because we do have the rest of the globe here. So I wonder. Oh. What's that? Continent is locked. Ah, so we must be able to build, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know, some satellite communication or something, maybe not in the 30s, but yeah, some sort of communication thing to have a chat with people over in Europe and get their stories. And maybe you have kind of European reporter correspondence or whatever. I do not know. And over here, look, South America and Africa and all that. So you must be able to kind of unlock access to all of these places, which could be intriguing. So uh, yeah, we might well pop back to it when the game's kind of all complete and we can just dive in and not have to kind of, you know, reach a point where it stops and yeah, the game kind of ends or whatever, which I think is what we'll get here. But yeah, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on in this game. There are so many things. And I do like the fact there's all kind of your little um, sort of uh, decoratives. You can put things on people's desks, like the globes and the plants and all that kind of stuff. I quite like that. I do like the fact that as well as building up a great big kind of, you know, newspaper empire, you also have to look after your people. And there's little kind of incidental bits. You have to make sure they've got food and drink and they're happy and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, overall, it's really good. I really, really do quite enjoy it. But I think, yeah, we might pop back when it's properly released so we can play the full game and then work our way through from start to finish. But, yeah, it's been lovely to pop back to it. It's been really, really enjoyable. So hopefully you did enjoy watching. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most wonderful indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard, as well as keeping up to date with News Tower when we pop back to it at some point in the future. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. You know, I'm brilliant at doctoring. I'm very good at all that kind of stuff. But we have got a Flashy Lights Nino machine, which is all very exciting. It's Kite Club, that's what it is. It's Kite Club. It's the craze that's sweeping the hospital. Everyone loves a kite now. Stay with us, Mr. Anderson. We all know what comes next. Say it along with me. We have to go over to the Wheel of Names. <laughs>